Just before we begin, just a heads up, tomorrow practice will be at Centennial, uh, about 11 o'clock, and then media availability right after, probably around noon, correct? Yes. If you say so. <laughs> well, I only I say so. Have my coffee yet, so I only say so because I saw Brandon's text with the uh, itinerary for the day. We'll deal with Tuesday right. after we get to tomorrow. So, with that, turn it over. You haven't, you haven't expressed a great desire to have home ice for this round, but now that you have it, you like it. Yeah, no, it's it's something that you know you you play at your games for. You, you get it. It's a, I would say, home ice advantage is it, it, you know. It's not as it's it's a it's a thing that you can use to your advantage. It's a slight advantage. I think it really comes into play uh, game sevens more than you know games one through six. But uh, trust me, uh, I'd rather be at home and, and, and playing in front of our fans and, and that and than being in more hostile uh, situation. But uh, as I said before, it didn't matter if we were home or away. I feel very confident we can win in any building in the league, and I know we can win in this building. What do you? Uh, wow, it was easy. You uh, obviously you know Detroit real well. What do you see from them right now at this point in the season? Are they more or less dangerous than they've been? Or? They're always dangerous. I don't know if they're they're more or less dangerous than they've ever been, but uh, I really can't answer that. Uh, but I do know that uh, you know they're a real strong organization. They've got you know they've got some 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 people who have great playoff experience. And, People like you know Lindstrom and Datsuk. I mean, those are are going to be Hall of Fame players, and, and they're game breakers still at the, at this time. And they've, and they've gone through the wars. They they have a lot of experience in that. Uh, um, you know, on defense, uh, you know, with, with Lindstrom and, and people like that, and Stewart and Cromwell, they're they're real solid. And then Jimmy Howard's given a great goal. To <coughs> um, you know, you look at it. And I, I the top say ten teams in the National Hockey League. Um, there's not much between uh, all that group, and I, I feel we're in that group. Barry, does it matter that you guys have sort of finally overtaken Detroit and, and in the standings? Does that mean anything? Well, it, it's a. I don't know if it's. It, it, you know, we've always Detroit's always been a bad benchmark in the, not only our division but our, our whole conference, and um, it is another step. You know, it's you don't get nothing for it uh, other than peace of mind and. Uh, and home ice advantage, but uh, you know they're they've been an outstanding organization. They're the standard of uh, they've been the standard of the league for a long time. So I just think it's just shown that we we've, we've continued to grow. We always talk about growth as an organization. We always talk about growth as a as a group. And and one of the, you know, the things that you have to to grow is uh, you know is you know we want to we'd like to win the division one of these one of these years. Uh, you know uh, we weren't able to do it this year. Uh, you know, congratulations to St. Louis, but. No, it's just another. It's just another piece of uh, of your overall growth. You just want to keep going forward. I thought we uh, we grew from a lot this year. And, you know, good example. I, I think uh, I think in the first 27 games we were like 12, 11, and four, and then in the last uh, 36 or 55 games I think we were 36, 15, and four. And if you would ask me after the first 20 games, you know. What do you what do you really think? If you wanted my real honest answer, I, I didn't think we would probably be uh, in the, in the position where we are. But we, we grew as a team. We got better. We uh, uh, just kept growing. We were so young at the start of the year. I, I thought that uh, Pecorini and, and a, a timely power play uh, was the was the key to success in the first 20 games. But we were one game over 500 after the first 27. Then we finished up the last 55 with 21 go 21 games over. So there's a, there's a lot of growth. Do you feel like Barry that um, you're catching Detroit at the right time? They're struggling right now. No, I don't think they're struggling. Have you seen them play? They're, they're playing pretty good. Uh, you know, there I saw them uh, a little bit of the St. Louis game. They were down two nothing. I thought it was a, a, a playoff style intense game, and, and just like always, they they were, they stay there and go the distance. And uh, they, they got a couple goals late. Uh, they played very very well. And I watched a little bit of the, what I could catch of the, them in Chicago yesterday, and they were they had the same thing. They were playing very, very well. So I, I don't think you're going to find too many teams that are, are not playing well at this point in the point of season. How do you feel your team has kind of come together over the last uh, nine games, especially with Rats? Well, I think uh, you know it, it, there's always been a little bit of growth uh, to figure out what we're what we're doing. But I think we're 
we're much more comfortable where we are than we were a month ago. And I, I, I just look at our, we've got good depth. You saw that last night. We, we pulled a lot of guys out of our lineup and guys stepped up and some guys made good cases last night. So our depth is really good. Our, I, I think guys are understanding how we're going to have to play. And uh, you know, even when I, I wasn't really, even when I wasn't happy with our overall play, we seemed to win. So. That's part of, part of uh, being a team that uh, finds ways to win, and uh, a team that has some, some depth. And, uh, you know, in, in this series, if you're going to be successful in the playoffs, and especially uh, you know in the first round, because I think that's the one that is the hardest to get through. It seems is that um, your top players are going to have to be your best players, and the rest are going to have to step up. A lot of times in playoff series, you know, somebody you, you wouldn't expect turns out to be the difference maker. Do you think it? Maybe more one of the stars that on either side that determines who wins the series. Well, you know, last year we had some good examples of guys that were weren't, uh, you know, regular you know, guys that you would think would score those big goals and had great series. I mean, Joel War had a very, very average season last year and was was really outstanding in the, in the playoffs. Uh, we had big goals from Smithson and Hallis Chuck and people like that but in the series, and they they stepped up. Um, you know, I think both teams have. You know, guys that can be difference makers in that. Both teams have difference makers on the blue line, and, and both teams have difference makers up front. And uh, you know, that's why I think it's going to be a good series. Is it possible to look at the season series? Just because I mean, just in terms to gauge you guys, just because it only seems like you were catching them at a moment, or they were catching you at a moment, where you guys maybe had some guys hurt or something like that. Is it is it tough to kind of glean anything from that? Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, I don't know if the, you know it's it. Come Wednesday, it, it's going to be ground zero. I mean, everybody's even. Um, but you know, I think early in the season, I, I thought there was a wide margin. That was because of our youth. That was because I don't think we had our game in order. Um, in the last few times, the, the going into the Joe and, and playing here, I think we've we've fared fairly well. So um, I, I just think that the gap from game one uh, of the season to game 82 is closed. You know, we were a really, real young team. We made some some changes in terms of uh, not necessarily at the trade deadline. I'm not talking even before that, where we traded some people out from, brought up some people like Gabriel Bork and, and Roman Yossi and, and moved some parts around that really stabilized our team. So, uh, and then what we did at the trade deadline. So I just think we're we've we've come a long way from, especially game one of the season. When I, I as I say, after the first weekend we're two and zero, and I'm going out like where we are. Two big bodies you added on the blue line. How do they fit into the playoff style hockey that you want to run? Um, the one big body on the blue line, or Middleton. two. Which which Austin two? Are, me, so. Well, he's a he's a forward. Oh, okay, uh, sorry. Then. Yeah, um, they they both were were brought in for for specific needs. I mean, we, we were struggling a little bit with the PK uh, and twofold. Uh, one Hal Gillis is, is that's what his specialty is 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 a, is a penalty killer. He's an experienced guy. He's, you know, he's, he's got a, a ring. Uh, all those things that, that you want, he does. And then getting Gostad is, is a penalty killer and a, and a draw man, a left and a right draw man. Because uh, he, he's one of those few guys that can you know, turn his, his hand over on both sides and, and be very, very, very effective at about 57%. So that, those are moves that you, you wanted to, to, uh, to put into your hockey team. Uh, if you start with the puck, uh, it's a lot, you know, especially on the, on the penalty kill, it's, you get you know, waste 30 seconds of a team's penalty kill by one of the draws. So, um, and then, you know, our penalty kill, since we've got both those guys, has been numbers are much, much better. You guys are healthy. Um, you got depth. You got all the ingredients this year, home ice. Is there any sort of maybe pressure in some ways this year, maybe more than other years? And you know, just because well, you have all the ingredients, I, it does feel like. No, it's, it's, it just feels different. I mean, there's pressure all the time. Um, I will say that um, back when we played the Sharks, uh, there was, a, I think, that it seemed like a lot more pressure back then. I don't know if we knew how to deal with it yet. Um, we had a great regular season, but I don't know if we were built for playoffs or understood the wow factor of the playoffs. The game's going to get ramped up. To a just unbelievable level, 
and if you haven't experienced it, uh, it really can be overwhelming. And back then, I, I felt like we were, we were a little bit overwhelmed that way. Uh, maybe myself as a, as a coach, maybe my, uh, maybe the team as, as a whole. Um, it's just different now. I just think we've we've had enough experiences that you know we're not going to be. I don't think we're going to be wowed by by anything. Um, you know, we had we got a little of that last year. Most of the guys are back, and then the guys that we've added have been in the playoffs. Um, some of the young guys uh, that are rookies this year that might might be a little bit of a, an effect on, or they might be oblivious to it. Uh, but uh, I, it just feels different. I, I just think that we you know, we've gone through the experiences. Uh, a little bit more, I think we can deal with it more. I think it just it, you're not getting thrown off by it as as, as much as you're used to. You like the the shorter travel to start with here that that maybe you don't have to face that long. Yeah, well, I think it, I, I I think you know it, the first series that it, it, you know if you have to travel, you have to travel, um, and you can get through that. But you know, you look at us last year, good example. Uh, the travel does affect you. I, I think the first series you can get through with with it. You know, we last year we had to to go to Anaheim and we, we started there and then, you know, next series, you know, we're out to Vancouver. You know, if we could have beat Vancouver, we'd have been out to San Jose. That started catching up to you. Uh, it, it started catching, you could feel the effects and even in the Vancouver series, it was starting to catch up to us. And it was very difficult. There's very few teams, I think, that um, if you look probably the last 20 years that have had a lot of success when they've had a lot, a lot of travel uh, in their playoff rounds, it, it, you can say what you want, but it does affect you. It's, uh, Sleep habits, it's the, the hours on the plane, it's all those things. So, um, so yeah, uh, a quick travel is, is, is beneficial for, for both teams, really. I think, uh, last year, both Anaheim yeah, and Vancouver were really physical on your, your forward, especially like a guy like Sergei, who I think only had two, two goals in, in 12. Are you expecting yeah. more out of him in, in this? Uh, well, I think, you know, Sergei, people tend to think that he's a real old guy. He's not, he's real young. I, I think last year, you know, Sergei was banged up in that. In, in First series. Um, I think it was game one where he actually, I think, had a separated shoulder and he played through that. So when you say his production wasn't really great, there, there was a lot to, a lot, a lot going on with him in terms of um, his, his sh shoulder situation last year. And he played injured and he played through that. And uh, when you play injured, it you can say what you want. It's it's hard to to be effective. I think you saw uh, you know a healthy Ryan Kessler against us, and then I think. Uh, Ryan Kessler wasn't as healthy in the next series, and, and you saw the difference in, in his series uh, between us and, and San Jose. So, um, you know, from that standpoint, you, you want to be healthy. But if you're healthy, if you're totally 100% healthy in the playoffs, then you're not playing hard enough. Is there any secret to keeping Datsuk in check? Uh, I, if I if I had that secret. Uh, Try to distribute that a little bit. He, he's such a, a great player. It, it, you know, you, the secret with I don't know if there's any secret. You've got to just play him hard. And he's going to make great plays. He's you know he wows me um, in some of the things he does um, under under extreme you know conditions. And uh, he's just one of those great players in the league. And it's going to take a collective group effort to, to keep him off the board. Obviously, we'll have some people that have to the key on guys like Datsuk and Zetterberg. Lindstrom and uh, you know, all their guys, but uh, you know, there's not one formula for for Pavel Datsuk. He's got so many tricks up his sleeve. It's uh, he's a hard one to, to to control. You hope to contain him. Barry, you mentioned the gap you felt like was na narrowed between yourself and Detroit from the beginning of the season to now. At this point, do you feel like your team's better than that? No, I don't. I think we're everybody's equal right now. I can. I said this the, the other day. I think. Uh, you can go one through eight and uh, ask me who the, the favorite is, and like, there is not. There's no favorites. It's, it's equal. Um, I can tell you from uh, the gap from the last two times we played them is a lot is narrow. I know that. Um, going into those series, I think we were a series underdogs in both those series. Uh, you mentioned a few weeks ago that you maybe do a few things a little bit different against Detroit than you do against other teams. Can you detail that a little bit more? Um, just the way we, I, I think we, we've, we've learned things from Detroit over the years that we we have to do as a team to, to keep them under under wraps and uh, and 
so we have some some twists to our systems, to our way we we play them than, than we would maybe in Dallas or something else. So uh, that's as far as I'm going to go with that. I appreciate the nice try. <laughs> assume some players are off today, but what are what are you and the coaches doing? Um, number one is, uh, you know, we're, we're putting a game plan, uh, A, everything from our, our schedule, uh, knowing that the, where the series is going to be in terms of dates and all that, we're putting a schedule, uh, we're doing uh, prep for that, uh, prep about Detroit, prep about our team, prep about uh, uh, the mindset we, we need to, to go into the playoffs, and, and we're going to be really prepared, we've only got two days to prepare for uh, the Red Wings. And, some of it's going to detail uh, some of the things that we need to lock up a little bit and uh, tighten up against a team like Detroit. And, uh, we'll go everything from the, some of the tendencies that we already know a lot of them because we play them a lot over the years, but I uh, go over them and, and uh, make sure that we've got a real clear uh, game plan going into, into the series. How long do you expect to be here today, then? Um, as long as it takes, really. I don't have, we don't have a time frame, so all I know is there's food coming. <laughs> so, everything revolves around food, it seems lately. Yeah, what time did you get back last night? What time did you get back into town? Uh, we got back about 2.30, and the time you, you know, you, you get home, you're, you're 3 o'clock, and then you unpack, and, and you're probably quarter to four before you put your head down. First of many short nights? Uh, that, no, that's the whole season, that's normal. You know, usually, if we, we you know, our staff is, is pretty diligent, is that we, you know, usually we get home around 1, uh, get to bed around 1.30 probably uh, most nights, and, and we're, we're back here at 6.30, so let's see, you go on five, five hours sleep all year. Yeah, that's what the summer's for. Hey, Crispy. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, update on the vaccination today? Um, yeah, he just got, he got, he got obviously a little bit of an upper body injury. Um, he, I don't, it's not going to be long term. I, I think uh, he may. There's a chance that he may uh, miss practice tomorrow. I'll get an update from our trainers. But uh, if that's the case, we will probably bring someone in from Milwaukee. But uh, I'll get an update on him. Uh, obviously, he's you know, just like the rest of us got up a few hours ago, and he's probably off to get to, to get examined. But uh, I think uh, very short term. I, I hope uh, and expect him to be in, backing up in game one. Any particular reaction to the series schedule itself? No, I don't really have any reaction. I mean, you got to play them. And, uh, I think uh, playing Detroit, and, and obviously we're going to get uh, maybe a featured game on, on uh, some of the network. So I think that's great. That's great exposure to for our players. It's great exposure for the organization, the city, everything. I just uh, I, I think that's what uh, you know. You want you want to have a good team. Uh, we always talk about becoming a good team, and, and uh, when you when you get to that point where you feel that, you know you can step up with anybody. Uh, you get to play in some of these big games and some of these big stages, which, which is you know what we, we talked about 14 years ago. Do you plan on having Gil address the team or share his experiences? Well, I, I you know we, we did that one year with with Forsberg, uh, you know, and and it, it has some impact, um, but I, I think. No, I'm not going to specifically go, you know, help tell us about your experience. I don't think we're going to do that. I just think it's bad karma. You've had a lot of competition for playing time over the last month or so with so many players here in, in Nashville. Will that continue on into the playoffs, or do you expect more of a set lineup? Well, I think we'll have a more set lineup. I, I think, you know, we try to um, keep everybody in the fold, um, try to sort out what was the, the best grouping of players. Now I, I think you go into it with pretty well a, a set lineup and then guys play themselves in another lineup and you know just like last night was a sort of a dress rehearsal for for some guys uh, in, in in a sense of you know I feel very comfortable this guy's gonna be in, in a lineup and you know he was either good or bad. You know, and uh, for some guys that hadn't been in there for a while, played very well. They they made a a real good statement last night. So they may not start the series, but they've moved up the ladder. You know, if we, if you're, you know, if there's, you have 17 forwards, and if you're, if you're say number 15 in terms of the, the pecking order, uh, some guys uh, moved up from 15 to 12 or 13 or something like that. So uh, you know, that's every day you're evaluated, and then we just got to put the right pieces in. 
everybody brings a, a specific skill set to the to the group, and uh, we're going to need all kinds of skill sets to be to, to make it work. It's, as I say, it's like, like being a contractor. You build a house, you're going to need a little bit of everything, you're gonna need all kinds of uh, uh, trades people to make your, your house beautiful and work and be, and be efficient. So uh, we'll need all those kinds of contractors. Is that good? All right. All right, again, uh, practice.